Hey guys, if you haven't used Perplexity yet, it's going to be your new favorite search tool. It scrapes the web for the information that you're asking for. Plus, it leverages the power of LLMs or large language models so that you'll get that added power of artificial intelligence. This way, it's able to give you a concise answer to exactly what you're looking for versus Google, which when you search Google, you get sponsored links. You have to scroll through and you have to figure out which link is relevant to what you're looking for but that process is dead in the water. I'm gonna show you how to use Perplexity in under seven minutes. Let's go. Okay, you're gonna to head to perplexity.ai to get started. Perplexity is an AI powered search engine. It's like Google on steroids. It's using natural language processing to research and find the answers to the questions that you're asking. Then it's using retrieval augmented generation, which for short, they call RAG to get you the exact answer that you want. But instead of having to search through different links to find what you're looking for, it's gonna give you a concise answer and then give you questions to that answer that you might not have thought about. Let me show you. If you're using the pro version, you can go over to your pro account settings and then you can scroll down and actually change the model that you're using. I could filter through and say which one of these I wanna use. If you're using the free version, it's gonna automatically default to that fast version, which is completely fine. I don't think that you need the pro version unless you're crazy like me. And because I have kids, I like it to read me the results. Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. And you can only have it read you the results instead of reading them yourself if you have the paid version. For the purpose of this tutorial, let's plan a family vacation with perplexity. Let's say that we are going on a family vacation to California, the Bay Area specifically. And we will have three kids with us, ages two years to eight years old. When you toggle this over to pro, it's just gonna give you more detailed, in-depth results, but you don't necessarily need that for everything. And on the free version, you get five free pro searches per day. The best part about Perplexity is that it links to all of the things that you're gonna get. So all of your results will have links embedded. So then you can see here where they came from or how correct the information is, which I think can be very helpful. Planning a family vacation to San Francisco Bay Area can be a delightful experience, so here it's giving me activities and attractions. It gives me a list. And when I hover over these numbers, it's going to show me the link. And if I click on that, it will actually open another window and it will open this link for me. So this is where that information came from, which is really neat. Okay, so let's jump back and see more of this. Aquariums, museums, outdoor activities, things like this. It actually made a sample itinerary and everything. It does these suggested questions. And sometimes this can really help with ideation. I'll be searching for something and I'll think, oh, I hadn't even thought to ask that question. So this can be great. And then you can just click on this and it'll open another thread. Threads, as you can see over here, where it says new thread, threads are just your questions, what you're gonna ask it. And then you can also search for images and videos or generate images with AI. You'd wanna use those features if you're creating collections. So let's go ahead and create a collection for this. A collection is gonna be a group of threads that are organized into a collection. We're doing this family vacation and I want to have a collection with all of the information so that I can share it with my husband or the kid's grandma, other people who might be going on this trip. Up here and hit collection. You can see I have some collections already. Cybersecurity, AI tools for parents, prompting. I'm gonna do a new collection and it's going to be California trip. You can add an emoji if you want to make it more fun. I added an airplane emoji. You can describe the trip if you want and you can give instructions to the AI. If I set a prompt here, it will apply that to all of the threads in that collection. So as you can see the example it has, you are a travel agent, help me plan my trip around boutique hotels, local food, and museums. You wanna give Perplexity a role since it is also utilizing an LLM in addition to its real-time web searching. So we'll say you're a travel agent with 15 years experience. Great, so that'll apply to our whole search and it should help us come up with some cool planning tips. You can change the privacy on this so that you can share with others or keep it just for yourself. I'm gonna put this as shareable because this way I can share it with other people who might be going on the trip. Create. So now we have our California trip 2024. You can see it up there. And over here on the left in a minute, you'll be able to see our different threads within that collection. This little plus button, you can attach images and things that you might want perplexity to use in your search. I could attach a PDF and ask it to find some information in that PDF. Maybe I have an old travel guide from the Bay Area. I could upload that as a PDF here and then ask it to just pull from there. Another thing I think is helpful, especially when planning vacation, is I could ask for prices. So we go up here in like the aquarium. I could ask it, how much will it cost? And then I could include those costs in my collection. I'm actually gonna click up here so that I can access the collection. 
And now we have our collection here and I'm gonna start a new thread. This is gonna be for restaurants. Let's say find highly rated restaurants in the Bay Area that are kid friendly. That new thread will show up here in our collection, which is a cool feature. It helps you organize the content better. We have a map which can show you where the different restaurants are that we may want to visit. And there's some images. If you don't like these images or you want to showcase something different, then you can either search for videos or new images, or you can generate images with AI, which is really neat. Now, if we go to the top and we click on our collection, then you'll see we have the new thread for the restaurants. So it's a really good way of organizing the different types of information that you might want. And over here on the left, you can see the different categories that we have. Another thing that I want to show you is focus. This is really neat because it can focus where perplexity searches for the information. So if you click on focus, you can search for academic papers. You can search specifically for video or social media. If I wanted reviews, let's say, of Muir Woods in California, then I would just type that in as a new thread, but select social. And it would only look for reviews on social media. So cool. That's a great little gem there too. And then one more thing, when you're planning a vacation or a trip, if you go up here at the top left, you can click invite and you can invite other people to collaborate on this, which is a really great feature for teams, for teachers or families planning trips. There's just so many ways to use this. You could also request menus from the different restaurants, which is neat. And over here on the left, if you click discover, this is really cool because Perplexity's team, every day they put out a curated list of different discovery items. So this is basically the top tech news that's happening that day. And you can see the different articles.